Hello everybody, Jeff Gamer here with another episode of Soma. Now where we left off, I died. I don't I don't know what to do. Uh, I think my best bet is when I'm running from that thing. I need to just run. because uh, I tried closing the door the last time and it did not work. Oh yeah. Shut the door, Cap. Lock it up. What's happening? Lock the door. It's locked. What's going on? We managed yep, to just piss run. off another one of WoW's monsters. We have everything we need, right? Yeah. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Let's do it. I don't know what I'm doing. That is not what I picked up. This oh. is crazy. Don't worry, it'll work. Just make sure it's all bunched together with the structure gel connecting all the parts. All right, try activating the seat from the terminal again. This is just freaking weird. So, retry. I'll break, I'll break that, 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 that. Oh, I can't believe we're doing this. It will be fine. Then why don't we put you in the suit? I was going to suggest that if you refused. You'd go without me. I need to do this, Simon. This is important. I need to launch the Ark. You'd really do it? Change body? Yes. If you want to stay here, I'm not going to stand in your way. I don't want to tell you what to do. What would be like before? Close my eyes and then... And then open them again. All right. Let's do it. Thank you, Simon. Go sit in the pilot seat in the next room. You might need to boot it up. Oh, I'm like, it won't let me move! That's because, uh... I was still out there, so. I didn't do it. Oh, well, I'm just sitting in the pilot seat. You may need to boot it up. Uh, plug it in. I'm sure. Plug it in. Well, it won't let me plug it in, first of all. Oh, shit. We need to loop back the activity manifested by your current Cortex chip, run it through the amplifier, feed it into the new chip, and then make sure it's synced. You lost me halfway there. You don't really need to understand it. Just make them line up. Ooh. Whoops. That's everything. You can climb into the pilot seat now. Already? I have everything under control. So please, have a seat. Sorry about any discomfort. This should be over soon. Just like having your picture taken. But with the most expensive camera in the world. You know, Indians thought photos would steal their souls. In this case, they'd be right. <laughs> What was that? No, I, it's just... Why was it still talking? It's the same like before. Catherine, why was he still talking? 
That's how it works, you know that. What do you mean? You know it's not magic. You were copied. The sleeping Simon in the sea was copied, and now you are here, just like Simon lived on in Toronto. God damn you, Kath. Two Simons? There can't be two Simons. What did it you think so would cool. happen? That you were gonna take my mind and put it into another body, like a brain transplant. I'm sorry, it wouldn't work that way. You realize how messed up this is? Please, I didn't mean to upset you. How did you expect me to react to this shit? Please stop. You're fucking disgusting. What's gonna happen to him? He'll sleep for a while, a few days. And then what? Wake up in this fucking nightmare again? All alone? That's so cruel. Well, what do you want me to do with him? Make friends? Let him know that we have to leave him behind when we go into the abyss? What if... What if he didn't need to wake up? You do that? I don't know. Maybe. There. I set it up for you. Hit the switch if you want to drain his battery. He'll die within a minute. I'd Does rather it? not stay plugged in any longer. What switch, though? I don't know. I don't know what switch he's talking about. I'm actually kind of sad, but I, I didn't. I couldn't. I couldn't just. I Though I don't know. <sighs> it, it just sounds weird that I'm breathing, knowing I'm just a.
passengers. Have we figured out what happens when we die yet? Is that even possible? If there's some kind of afterlife, do you think my place is taken? The real me died like a hundred years ago. Is there still room for me? And what about the Simon I killed at Omicron? What do you think, Catherine? Is there a heaven full of redundant copies of the same people? Is there someone up there who call me an imposter? It's dumb luck, right? And I woke up in the right body. They basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right sign. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. And you wouldn't mind. Why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Please say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I could still feel how I had to, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Some dark if stuff. If we make it to the yard, would it be any different? still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends. I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... Yep. I, I had a bad feeling. Catherine? Catherine? Hello, Catherine? What happened? Okay, so well, let me pick her up. This is not good. Wait, am I still going down? Or are those things floating up? Stop moving. The power blacked out for a moment. 
<laughs> think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry, it should hold. Comforting. It will hold. Does... Does time freeze when you're not powered? Time feels omitted when you're not omitted. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes. But generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. <laughs> it's rough. Could be worse. Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. That'd be the worst. My eyesight's going a little blurry. That's never a good sign. <laughs> What is that? You did it! You did it! I will make preparations. What the crap was that? What was that? all about. Oh, good, you're back. What happened? Something dropped onto the cage. Knocks you right out. It spoke to me. Looks like a man, one of WoW's creatures. It just stared at you for a moment, then threw itself down the abyss. It said it would make preparations. I don't like the sound of that. It was very strange. I thought it was gonna kill you for sure. Glad it didn't. Yeah. Me too. I feel like we're going faster. Looks like we're closing in on the ocean floor. Good. Not sure the climber can take it much longer. Okay, so this is the Omega Sector. It's about an acre of the abyssal plan used by Pathos 2. I expect we'll have to do some walking before we reach a town. You haven't been here before? Not in a way that'll help us. Right, the author you has been here. We're following your own footsteps, Kat. When I have footsteps. You could still be down here somewhere, technically. Don't remind me, freaks me out. Alright, let's head for Tower and find that arc. Alrighty. Um Oh, I gotta swipe down. So that was scary. Well, now it's offline. It's never, maybe because it's closed, I don't know, or open. <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and stop right there. Uh, that was scary. I don't know what that was. He's getting preparations ready, and I don't like those types of preparations, the ones that I don't know about. But all right, so thank you for joining me on this venture, and hope to see you in the future.